I would say around hoarding, what it represents is um, a deficiency that somewhere a person has um, lacked something in their life, like a fear of not having enough of something. Um, complicated by a society that um, is constantly bombarding us with you need to have, like the, a fear-based society. So um, if you're not, like we just had a situation of a woman, we're trying to help her declutter to pass her inspection. And the person who's helping her has been very militant about recycling and all of that kind of stuff. So by him helping her, he's getting another perspective to say, um, when we present it in a way that if you don't do this, the earth is going to suffer, or somebody's going to suffer, or there's people that need these, is that people who um, don't have a filter on their fear or a, a kind of rational response to that, take it to an extreme. So like this woman won't throw away any container because somebody can use it. And she won't um, get rid of anything because it can't go into the earth. So she's saving the earth and she's trying to respond to the people's needs, but she doesn't have the ability to then go the next step for the distribution. So it, it becomes um, something around her. As well as her own um, extreme fear, I think the isolation, that she lives in such isolation that she doesn't feel like um, people will be there to meet her needs. So she hoards food in case she were sick and she doesn't have a telephone to call anybody and what if she didn't have the energy to get up and get the food, it would be there in her room. So to strip her of that, though one of us could walk in and just say, well, get rid of this, somebody will help you. Somewhere in her experience is there wasn't a somebody there. And so that those things are representing um, the, the lack of, of um, somebody being there for her or the um, fear that the earth around her is going to disappear. So it, it becomes very complicated in the, the hoarding.